Hey, how's it going? Preps here and welcome back to another Marvel Strike Force video. And in this video, I'm going to be going over the recently announced requirements for the upcoming Shattered Dimension, featuring the Illuminati and Annihilated teams. Now, Valley Flying just released a video on his channel going over an upcoming blog post that details the minimum requirements to be able to complete Shattered Dimension. Big shout out to Valley for releasing this info and if you haven't seen his video yet, I suggest you go watch it. I'll have a link to that in the description below. It's going to be a quick video today, so let's get straight into it. Alright, so for the normal missions 1 through 4, you're going to need at least 3 Illuminati characters at gear tier 14. And on the normal missions for the Annihilators section, you need at least 3 Annihilator and or Cosmic characters at gear tier 14. For the hard node missions, you'll need at least 3 Illuminati at gear tier 15 and at least 3 Annihilator and or Cosmic characters at gear tier 15. This changes a little bit as we head into the Master Difficulty missions, with the requirements being at least 3 Illuminati characters and at least 3 Annihilator characters at gear tier 16. But if you can get past that section, the requirements open up a little bit because with the legendary section, you can take Illuminati and or legendary characters as long as they are gear tier 17. And it's the same for the Annihilator section. This repeats on the Mythic nodes where you can decide to take Illuminati and or Mythic characters or Annihilator and or Mythic characters as long as they're gear tier 17. However, for the final boss node, the requirements are at least 3 Annihilator and or Illuminati characters at gear tier 18. So to summarize, you're going to need at least 3 Illuminati and Annihilator characters at gear tier 16 just to get past the master nodes. Once you're past the master nodes, you can throw in some legendary and mythic characters to help beat those sections. But for the final boss node, at least three Annihilator and or Illuminati characters are required at gear tier 18. Let's have a quick look at what I plan to take and some alternative suggestions if you happen to be missing some characters. So if you have at least three Annihilators unlocked, and hopefully you do, then I recommend to take those three Annihilator characters into the final boss note, as you're probably going to get more value from a gear tier 18 Annihilator team in the long run. The three Illuminati characters I would recommend to take to gear tier 16 would be Mr. Fantastic, Black Panther Shuri, and Hank Pym. Although, as I already have some built up, I'll probably be going for Mr. Fantastic, Black Bolt, and Black Panther Shuri, but we'll see how hard those nodes are when the event goes live. Now there are a few good options for the Legendary and Mythic nodes if you don't want to take Illuminati past gear tier 16. For the Legendary section, characters like Old Man Logan, Doc Ock, Green Goblin Classic, Black Cat, Nova and the Four Horsemen are all good options, and I guess it depends on what you have built up. For the Mythic section, Kestrel, Apocalypse, Dormammu, Doom, Ultimus and Super Skrull are all great options. And I guess of course if you have Mephisto, but if you have Mephisto, chances are you're probably not watching this video. So that's 3 Illuminati characters at gear tier 16, 3 Legendary characters at gear tier 17, 3 Mythic characters at gear tier 17, and 3 Annihilators at gear tier 18. This is the bare minimum. Chances are we might need more characters depending on how difficult the nodes are. So all in all, I think this is pretty good news and I'm glad they made some changes. The only thing I think might be a problem is if you haven't happened to have unlocked a third Annihilator character yet. I think most people have, but there is a chance that some unlucky players just haven't got the drops and unfortunately, since the master nodes are locked behind having those specific teams, you might just be left out of participating in this event, and that's pretty lame. But let me know in the comments below what you think of the changes and how are your Annihilator unlocks going. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, share with your alliance, and don't forget to subscribe for more Marvel Strike Force videos. Once again, a huge shout out to Valley Flying for all this information. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.